the main role of the clinic is to um, bring people to Christ, but we do that through um, providing medical care. The, the clinic has been there for 70 years and has been doing both those things, providing medical care and bringing people to the Lord um, through the medical work that it does. Um, I'd say that the main role, if you ask people in the community or even people within the Moravian Church, they would say that the main role of the clinic is to um, provide medical care. Um, but we in the church, um, the Border Wall Mission, um, the provincial leaders continue to know that this is one way of, um, of serving God through, through the medical care. El papel de la clínica con el pueblo es, es muy importante. The role for the clinic for the people is very important. The clinic gives attention to the Mosquito Society in Honduras. Another important role is saving lives of many people. La clínica tiene una importancia grande. The clinic has a great importance. If it weren't for the clinic, I know that many people of the mosquito race would have serious health problems or would be dead. Then God put the clinic here in the middle of this region because Awas is in the geographical center of the area. Yes, it has saved many lives, because if it weren't for the clinic, many people would have died. Many cases, many cases, if it weren't for the clinic, they would be dead. But to have the clinic in this region is a blessing. Well, there are many cases. So many that the clinic has given help. Some needed surgery, they would have died without it. The clinic has helped in this way. Since many pregnant women don't have money, this is a big problem. The midwife at the clinic helps a lot with these cases. Without the midwife, they would have a lot of problems. Um, I know lots of people. Um, the, the, the one that comes to mind right now is a, a little girl from the village of Wawina. Her name is Danelsi. She came to the clinic um, in late January of this year, um, suffering from kwashiorkor, which is a form of malnutrition caused by a protein deficient diet. Um, when she came, um, the doctors were concerned that, that she would not live. Um, she was admitted to the hospital and um, received, received treatment. Um, in addition to the medical treatment, uh, her parents were also counseled about ways to improve her diet. Um, and so she, after several days of being in the clinic, she had improved. She went home, but then continued um, being treated through our uh, preventive health program. Um, she's now um, very healthy. She came back in March. I had actually stopped into the medical, uh, to the preventive medicine program office to drop some things off. And when I went in, I, was, I, I saw that Tomaso, who's in charge of preventive medicine, was with someone, so I was just gonna quick go in and drop the things off and leave it. But as I was leaving quickly, Tomaso says, oh, look who's here. Um, and it was this Danelsi. And I, I couldn't recognize her because in the space of like six months, she had gone from a, um, an emaciated, um, uh, very upset little girl to being a, a chubby, inquisitive little girl who was getting into things like you would expect a, um, a normal toddler to do. In the first place, in their prayers. The prayer is the first thing that we should request for God, for the clinic. Also, in whatever possible material way. For example, the houses are old. In any way they can, but primarily in prayer. 
Es una forma en que ellos han, han ayudado bastante con las, las... In the way that they have been helping us until now has helped us a lot. With the prayers, with the donations that they make, this is a great help. We realize that the members of the congregations give tithes and pray for the clinic. These are forms of helping the clinic. Y esas son formas de ayudar a la clínica. Y necesita and we need help in the form of doctors sent to the clinic at times. We ask that they don't forget us. We live in a poor region, as you can see. Well, they can continue supporting us. What is important is that North Americans come to Aues to see the situation of the clinic and what is needed. Then they help. There are many needs in the clinic, such as medications and supplies. And what future does the clinic have? An uncertain future without the support of the North American Moravians. I tell the North American Moravians that the clinic is for the people of La Mesquita, where all the inhabitants are humble. They offer their help, but not to the clinic directly. These souls need the clinic and don't have resources, so they come to the clinic and the clinic must attend to them. For this reason, finances struggle. I think the greatest needs um, in just my limited time here, I've noticed that they just need some basic retraining in basic lab principles, like even blood taking, um, basic tests like hematocrits and urine dipsticks, and just very, very basic um, lab work is what they need a refresher course on. We continue to do great things um, at the clinic as far as um, providing medical care is concerned. Um, but if we're not careful, we will be unable to do that in the future uh, if we don't figure out how to manage our finances and if we don't figure out how to um, organize, organize and administer the clinic the way it should be. Mara North American Moravians can pray for the clinic. Um, again, this is the work of the Lord. If it is, if it is a spiritual work, you know, that we need to start with prayer. Well, the North Americans have given us so much. They sustain us. We thank them.